All right, ladies and gentlemen on YouTube who are, who are interested in walk-along gliders, this is just a short video to show you my walk-along glider collection, or at least some of it. Anyways, uh, as you can see, I have quite the assortment of aircraft, uh, from comparatively large down to extremely small. I just recently got done reorganizing these boxes and cramming more gliders into each box because I was running out of room. I've condensed seven boxes worth of gliders down to five. And so now I have those two empty boxes I can do whatever I want with. Anyways, uh, we'll start over on the right side here. And we'll zoom in a little. And you can see this box is just crammed full of those aircraft. Uh, there's probably 50 something of them all shoved in vertically with a, a tin foil divider essentially, accordion folded to help keep them straight. So again roughly 50 aircraft. There's the weird and wonderful ones. Uh, that one you can see there is a grid wing, uh, something that's very difficult to fly because it has no nose weight at all. It only flies with the aid of a board. Um, might get some video of one of these flying uh, in the next few weeks here. And then uh, just various other gliders stored in there. Uh, there's one of my high lift Jag wing prototypes. Uh, you can see all the serrated edges on it and uh, you can get a hint of the uh, significant curvature on it just by looking at the shadows and how the light falls on it. But it makes quite a bit of lift, flies fairly slow at a fast walking or slow jogging pace. And then uh, we'll move on to the next box here. This one contains all my fast, uh, essentially Jag Racer aircraft, uh, the really high speed ones that you have to run or at the very least jog with to keep up. So these designs um, are all made out of styrofoam plates the ones that you can get at any Walmart other store and uh, again there's a whole ton of them in there we'll get in a little closer uh, again they're all stored vertically just like I do with all my planes now because this works so much better for getting them in there but there's probably 50 something aircraft at least in there uh, 50 large ones and slightly smaller ones and that's not including the really tiny ones that are in this little aluminum foil tray and then uh, next box here has roughly 50 uh, production style jag wings uh, these I made with a cookie cutter like device so I just hammer it down through the foam sheets and uh, out pops a, a wing that I can put tape on. And then I'm uh, moving along in these other compartments here. Uh, some more of the same. We have some tumble wings and then some very small uh, non-flying uh, toy planes and some cars. Most of those are made out of paper and some, a little bit of balsa wood. And then uh, not much more to see in the uh, rest of the boxes here. Uh, this tray fits in top of the box that I just looked at. Again, you know, just cram more planes into a given space. Uh, more of the same. And then this one contains uh, a few of my uh, built up models. These ones are stick and tissue. This is the Club Racer design by David Ehrenstein. Uh, the clear colored one uses uh, plastic bag wrap for the wings and tail. Very light. Uh, flies at a nice walking pace. The one with the solid tail and the red wing right below it uh, goes at a fast walk or sometimes a slow jog. I didn't make it as well as I should have. It's a little heavier than it should be. But it's still a very pleasant uh, flying aircraft, again, because uh, Dave has a very good design with that. And then, uh, moving on to all the aircraft outside of the boxes, these three monsters oh, are my 
Super Jag racers. They're made out of cardboard from those uh, trays that you see coffee cans stored in at, you know, like Walmart and such. So these weigh a minimum of one ounce and they fly at a fast run or essentially a sprint. Last time I checked it was somewhere around 14 or 15 miles per hour. So I can't keep them flying very long. Uh, over next here, uh, you've seen these on earlier videos. Now we'll get a closer look uh, at my uh, prop gliders. Again, those propellers on them do spin, like you saw. Uh, they turn on twist-tie wire shafts. We'll get in slightly closer here. And you can see some of the details. There's actually uh, separate uh, spacers that I rolled out of paper to keep these props from rubbing against the nacelles so that they don't just stop mid-flight. It's quite easy for that to occur. And we'll have a look at the smaller uh, four prop model. So again, overall view. And then uh, same arrangement on those propellers. Now over here uh, is an earlier uh, foam version of uh, David Ehrenstein's Club Racer that I made uh, some years back. Uh, flies decent, but as you can see, uh, that thin foam has so many holes in it, uh, lets lots of air leak by. So not as efficient as stick and tissue. Now over here, uh, we have some, some of the uh, Jagwing collection. Uh, a couple of the Jag racers, they're the ones with the uh, red and green stripes. We have the full scale and then the mini Jag racer. Uh, again, these ones fly at a at a jogging pace minimum. Quite quite the uh, aerobic workout. The nose weight on there is uh, little bits of solder that I just cut and then bend around it. Very easy to do. And then uh, the stripes on them are just with a permanent marker. And now, if you look really close on the top of these you'll notice these little pale colored things. These are condenser paper tumble wings. Uh, very small. They weigh about maybe a couple milligrams versus 1.7 grams for this big Jag racer with the red stripes or about 0.7 grams for the little one. So uh, quite a difference in weight going from these little tumble wings to those Jag racers. Then right here we, we have a really small Jagwing. This foam was cut thin on a bandsaw. It was the really light packaging foam that you see, you know, pretty much any consumer packaging nowadays. Uh, that span is maybe 1.5 inches at the most. It's actually a little bit less than that. I haven't measured it. But it does fly at a walking pace. And then uh, zooming out. Uh, we have some of the big, some of these so-called big but slow flying jagwings, just cut from thin foam with a bandsaw. And uh, this one here, that's centered in the view, is 70 milligrams. Flies at one and a half miles per hour. It's on one of my earlier videos. The one right below it here is about 50 milligrams. My best guess. I don't. I haven't weighed this one yet. Has very pleasant handling, uh, extremely maneuverable because of those uh, generous sized tail fins. It'll turn on a dime, I can fly it in circles around me while standing in place essentially. And then uh, likewise another very slow, very maneuverable Jagwing. Uh, flies similar to the previous two except a little bit faster. It is a little heavier, but still very nice to fly. It's not a fast plane by any means. Now zooming out, we have a few smaller ones here. These three are uh, one of my smaller designs. Uh, I make paper templates and then I trace around them on the foam. Uh, the one on the bottom here was cut on a bandsaw. So that foam is around a 32nd of an inch thick. Very thin, 
but you notice these two have a much paler white color that's because they're a lot more see-through because they're cut much thinner now the way to do that is very simple you can use a deli food food slicer to cut this foam thinner than anything else uh, out there really it works even better than a hot wire cutter because you're not melting the foam together and so you end up with a lighter aircraft uh, when you're finished so I don't know how much these weigh but I gotta guess somewhere around 15 milligrams maybe so it's ex extremely light they fly extremely slow uh, just over just under one and a half miles per hour so they're even slower than what was before my slowest walk along glider ever uh, which was this one slowest fixed wing glider so these two with the very pale white color are even slower than that now uh, zooming back out to find the next aircraft to discuss uh, this is one of my first designs uh, very old it's from 2002 roughly I don't I didn't keep track of when I made these unfortunately but this one flies at a moderate walking pace uh, this was before I figured out that the serrated leading edges would actually give it more lift so again just a standard uh, flying wing plank style design uh, slightly rounded tips got the tail fins on it for maneuverability and uh, that front boom is just a little bit of balsa wood with a blob of clay on it for nose weight so again not much to it it was bandsaw cut right behind it is its mini me uh, brother so again very small uh, probably about one and a quarter inch wingspan about the same size as that little tiny jag wing that's uh, that I showed earlier in the video so again a tiny little sliver of balsa wood for nose weight flies at a moderate walking pace nothing too fast uh, it has plenty more uh, there's plenty more where that one came from uh, they're all in this little container again plenty more where uh, some of my other Jag wings came from. Uh, I make lots of these as you can see there's probably a few hundred aircraft in this collection. This one here is quite undistinguished in my collection. It is not the fastest or slowest or most maneuverable or it doesn't have any of those records but it's a very pleasant plane to fly and it does hold the record for my longest flight ever of 2 hours 22 minutes uh, not recorded because quite honestly flying one of these for that long is fairly boring and uh, it's not even recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records so not much point in recording it alright just zooming out a little more we have uh, uh, this bird shaped glider uh, don't know what it's supposed to be other than bird like um, again made out of the heavier styrofoam plate material so it flies at a jogging pace minimum uh, not the easiest to fly um, I don't have the proportions and angles all figured out like I should have I'll have to refine this design to get something that's pleasant to fly and you know one that looks better I gotta decorate the, these and so uh, that said you've seen pretty much everything from the very small condenser paper tumble wings all the way up to the monster cardboard jag racers that fly at ridiculous speeds and uh, there's not much more to say other than uh, I look forward to making more of these aircraft and featuring a lot of these in future flight videos which will be a lot more interesting than simply looking at them sitting on the ground here. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, just a little introduction the more technical side of these. Uh, anyways, I'll see you in future flight videos. Take care.